Good morning, this is Will Faber from art to ride and uh, I wanted to give you a simple little idea today about how to help you improve your horse's contact with the bridle and his acceptance of the bridle. I've gotten quite a few uh, emails lately, um, people talking to me about how their horse's mouths have been ruined and they can't ride them in bridles anymore and they have to ride them in hackmores and things like this. So I want to give you this little piece of information. It's a little secret that we do all the time, and every great master, my father, Nuno Oliveira, did it. Um, almost everybody I've seen who was any good at it. And that is a very little simple secret about getting your horse to accept the bridle. And here it is right here. It's called a sugar cube, all right? We want them to enjoy the bit, and we also want them to mouth the bridle and begin uh, their, their uh, salivary glands to work, so that that's why we get this nice softness and see this nice foam around the horse's mouth when it isn't too much. And uh, one of the things that sugar do, I'm also a singer myself, so I understand how this works. I eat little hard candies all the time, and you know, I'm singing to keep my throat moist. Well, the same thing is true of a horse. You know, you put the bridle on him, you want to, him to associate it with something good. And what could be better than a little piece of sugar and how they look forward to it? So with every young horse, especially with you who are retraining some of these horses that you're having a, a lot of bit problems with, you know, once you're sure the bridle is correctly adjusted, just give them a piece of sugar when you put the bridle on. Before, like our horses, you'll see they come out, they're ready to put their heads right into the bridle because they know they've got something coming. I also give my horses a piece of sugar at the end of the workout in the ring, so they associate the ring with something good. You know, um, I don't like, some people will argue the use of sugar. I've been using it since I was five, and I'm 60 now, and I've never had a problem with horses doing it. My father did it, Mr. Oliveira did it, almost every great master I've ever known, you know, who cared about their horses gave them a little something. Now, some people will say, oh, well, I'll give them carrots or some kind of treats that's more natural. The problem with carrots and cookies and all these kind of things is they gum the bridle up. They really don't want, they don't do what you want them to do. They just make a big mess in the horse's mouth. A piece of sugar instantly dissolves, is gone, and it activates the salivary glands. All right. So once again, Will Favor from Art to Ride, a little secret about getting your horse to accept the bridle. Give them a piece of sugar. All right. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time at Art to Ride.